Now let's see a simple demo for scattergather. Uh, I will first take scattergather activity. In source, I will take HTTP listener again. And I will take three different variables representing each route. So for simplicity of uh, pr uh, this project and demo, I am taking here simply three variables and calling them uh, and assuming they are returning the rates. But in real life, you can have your subflows which are actually calling your uh, services and fetching the responses externally. Now here, name of the variable, we will have to keep same in all of the three variables. In value, we will have to click on the expression mode and then we can add here uh, any number. Second one is spice jet. Variable name will remain same. And then third variable for us is Air India. Again, name will remain same. Value may vary. So I'm assuming three uh, external services have returned as this response. In HTTP listener, I will be selecting a existing configuration. If you do not have one, you please create new configuration. And then path handling something. Okay, now we need to use the transform activity to collate the result of these three variables. In transform message, we will use JSON. And here we will simply return var dot. Here when we type vars, it will show us all the variables. Now in all three set variable, we have taken only one variable name. If we take multiple names, it will show all the names here. So yeah, that's it. Now let's execute it. Now application is deployed. Now we can hit the HTTP request. And when I click, uh, it returns me array with the three values. And in that we are having all the three rates. It is showing, for, uh, it is returning an array. So value 0, 1, 2 and it is giving us the rates of each of the flight. Now let's have a demo for make my trip application. Here what we will do is first we will fetch scatter gather palette. We will need HTTP listener and in scatter gather now I am going to have three flow references one for each provider in this example spicejet air india and indigo i'm renaming these And third one to Floref SpiceJet. And now I will need one uh, payload transform message. And uh, here for listener, I will use existing listener which is at port 8088 and in the 
path I will add get flight rates now we have created reference to flows but we have not created flows yet I will call this flow as main flow And now I will drag three more flows. You can have flows or subflows. Here I'm taking three flows. Uh, you just need to drag flow beneath existing main flow. These flows, uh, I will call them call indigo. And in this flow, what I will do is I will add uh, one read file in real life scenario you will have your uh, HTTP call to your actual uh, client but in this case I am calling read file and then transform message in all of these I will change the name of this flow to call SpiceJet and name of third flow to call Air India. Now, uh, here I have mentioned read files. I have already created three files. I will show you those files. These are JSON files. Ensure you are creating files with .json format. And in that, uh, in this format, you will be providing all the details that actual your website would provide. For example, provider, source, destination, departure, arrival, duration of the flight, how many stops are there in between, and uh, the most important price, rate of our flight. Now, Air India on that particular day provides two flights. Indigo provides, let's say, three flights and SpiceJet offers two flights on the same day at different time and with different rates maybe. So now I have created three, these three JSONs and I will copy their path. So this is called indigo in this read file. I will add file path for indigo. Then in SpiceJet flow, uh, in the in, uh, here in transform message in payload, I will just add payload, nothing much. Again here in read file. I will add spice uh, jet and in transform message I will add payload and lastly for Air India I will add Air India path here and here I will add payload. Now our three flows are ready. And we have flow references. We need to call these flows inside this. So here I'm calling, uh, I'm mentioning flow name as call indigo. Here I'm mentioning as air India. And here I will mention SpiceJet. In a transform message, uh, first of all, output I will change from Java to JSON. And here, here I will mark it as payload. So initially, I want to show you 
how payload gets printed now let's uh, deploy this application application has been deployed let's hit the request from rest client here I have got the response now let's see what the response shows response of scatter gather is always an object in object it is array uh, so it will have uh, we have three providers so it will have 0 1 and 2 as three objects so this is 0 in this we have a uh, payload we have inbound property names outbound attachment name then we have attributes and this is all for first provider indigo then we also have all these details for um, Air India and then all these details for the SpiceJet. This is object 2. Now uh, this is a second, uh, this is third array object. Now uh, I'll click on source view to show you how it looks exactly. Yeah. So this is how it looks. So it will have a uh, first array element, second array element. And third array element and out of all these details for us most important is only payload and rest of the details are um, immaterial to us so now what we will do is and also it is showing us uh, that it has uh, it has sent three different responses right now we want to gather all these responses we did scattered our request to send to three different clients now we need to gather all these three responses and merge it into one payload, right? So what we will do is we will flatten the payload. This is important concept and uh, you will surely see some question around this in your MCD exam. Plus if you are appearing for interview, this is also one uh, very important concept. So flattening is nothing but merging all the outputs together. Now I have done uh, flatten payload dot dot payload. I will again see, again hit the request. I again hit the re request and this time it has given me proper response. It has provided me responses from all Indigo, Air India and SpiceJet but it has not shown me it as 0, 1, 2 array elements. It has merged it all together and this is what we want to show it on our side if we are from make my trip right. So in tabular format see this is how it is looking. So this is what we wanted to achieve. We did not want it to show different outputs right. So now um, there are a couple of more things what happens uh, we had seen that in the requirement right what if one provider is not available right so what we will do now is we will change file name of one of the uh, one of the provider let's go and change it for indigo i am making it indigo rate now let's again try to hit the request I am again hitting the request and this time it is it is showing a throwing exception uh, at uh, zero array, array, array element. It is saying that indigo rate does not exist. Other two uh, files do exist. Other two uh, clients have responded properly. But because first one did not respond properly, we our complete process got failed. This is what happens in scatter gather. If if you have three or thirty references, uh, three or thirty uh, different calls routes, even if one fails and if you have not handled it, your process will fail. Now let's try to uh, change third one as well because we had changed for first one. Now here I'm changing it for third one. And for first one, let's revert it back to the correct name.
I'm hitting the request again. Oh, it is saying request URL cannot be hit. Okay, now it is fine. Uh, okay, so it is now saying Air India rate uh, JSON does not exist. So this time my first route was working fine. Indigo was working fine. But though Indigo was working fine, though SpiceJet was working fine, because Air India uh, responded with error, our process failed to show any result. And this is what we need to handle in error handling. But this is not part of scope of uh, this particular uh, chapter. We will have, uh, we will see error handling later. But for now, please remember that if one of the route fails, all the routes fails. Uh, one more thing I wanted to show is in scatter gather main flow, here you have max concurrency. By default, it will execute all the routes concurrently. But if you have too many routes in your flow and based on your uh, server capacity, you want to run only few of them uh, concurrently, you can set that max concurrency here. So accordingly, it will run for that particular threads concurrently and then once those are finished, then you can execute rest of them. Also, uh, there might be a scenario where you want to execute scatter gather in a sequential manner. How will you achieve that? Can you think it for two seconds? Yes, yes. Scatter gather is mean to run concurrently, but if there is requirement to run these sequentially, it can be achieved. For that, you have to just put max concurrency as one. If max concurrency is one, then at a time, only one route will execute. And once that thread is released, then only second one will execute. Okay, then uh, this is all for now for scatter gather.